Today we're looking at this 1967 Ford Mustang, two-door coupe. Very solid original western car, came here to the Midwest uh, quite a few years ago but lived the majority of its life out west. Very solid car. Uh, if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see about 25 pictures of the undercarriage. The undercarriage is pretty much all original as far as I could see, uh, factory undercoated. Inside the trunk, it still has all of its original green paint. Still looks super nice inside the trunk. You can see the pictures there as well. As we go in here, the engine, the 289 engine, seems to run great. Got new plug wires, recent tune-up, carburetor kit, that kind of stuff. It does have power steering. It's got disc brakes. If you look at the bottom side of the hood, that's all the original paint. At one point something must have spilled on it. I don't know if it has some battery acid or something in this area and the original paint there is uh, tarnished. Other than that, the original paint uh, looks good for 50 years old. Car's been repainted once in its life and it's had a new seat cover on the front uh, driver's side seat. Other than that, the car is pretty much all original as far as I can tell. It will need a new paint job again to be a show quality car. We're going to price this car at $15,995. In my opinion, it's a great solid driver. A guy can uh, repaint it down the road and have a show quality car, but for now it's just a good looking driver. It's got the uh, Mustang spoked wheels. We polished up the, the uh, hubcaps and stuff on it. The original rims are all painted body color as well. I'm guessing this paint job was done probably 30 years ago. Um, we buffed it out, but there's a lot of spots in the paint that's just thin that you kind of buff through in a couple spots. It's got some orange peel here and there. I mean, it's just a, it's just an older paint job that looks great at 20 foot. You get up close, uh, you can tell that it needs a paint job again. If we look at the front bumper, the front bumper has a nice shine to it. Go down in this front balance, it's really good balance. It does have the bumper guards, horse and corral all look good. The grill looks real decent on it as well. This little hood trim piece has got a ding in the middle of it. We've got some chips and stuff like that on the hood and some scratches. I mean, like I said, I won't be able to point all the imperfections out, but it has quite a few of them. Our hood gap's really nice, and it's a perfect gap all the way from the front all the way back here to the cowl. So perfect gap on that hood on the driver's side. Same thing over here on the passenger side, guys. It's a really nice fit and finish on the hood. It does have the deluxe hood. That little thin paint right there, little spot. We come around here to the front fender. There's no blisters or body filler or anything I can see on this uh, passenger side fender. It's got the factory uh, wheel well and uh, rocker moldings on it. It's got the chrome decor group. It's got the factory black vinyl top and the black vinyl top looks to be in great shape. We uh, shined it up, it was just a little dull. But if we go back down in here, it's all nice and solid. I don't see any bubbles or blisters or anything like that around the back window. Come back along this piece back in here, that's all nice and solid as well. Rear glass is good, package tray's been replaced. Back bumper shines up nice and nice as well. It just has single exhaust with the dual exhaust cutouts and kind of a fake dual exhaust on it is what it's got. Uh, tail light lenses and tail light chrome and stuff's original but still really clean. It does have the factory uh, pop down gas cap and that's in great shape as well. If we look up and down the sides, it's a nice straight car. Again, uh, a repaint would really make this a nice Mustang. But it's very presentable just the way it is. We'll start here at the rear quarter. Um, I don't want to say it's got a ton of blisters. Like I said, the paint's 30 years old. So it's just got some little rock chip kind of stuff right down in here. Same thing here. It's got some uh, just some rock chips where the paint is peeled just a little bit right in that area. I wouldn't really call it a rust blister by any means. We have a bunch of little paint chips just along this door edge right here and along the quarter edge that's been touched up. As we come down in here at the very bottom, no blisters or bubbles anywhere down in here. That's excellent. 
We do have a blister right here, right in this area. Um, a little bigger than my thumb, right by this uh, louver. Uh, back side of the door, no blisters, that's all in great shape. Come down to the front edge of this door, it's got like two little tiny, tiny little blisters. Very, very small, I don't even know if you'll pick them up off the video. Front edge of the gap of the door is in nice shape. It's got the original glass in the back, it's got the original glass here. Windshield looks really nice, it's not foggy or nothing like that. It does have a tiny, tiny rock chip over in the driver's side and I'll try to point that out to you when I get around there. As far as our uh, window felts and stuff like that go, they're original. The window lines up nice. Roof rail rubber is good. Like I said, open and close our door. The original uh, chrome door handles in fantastic shape still. Corner of the door is great. No body filler, rust, nothing like that there. That all looks good. Passenger door panel is all original. Armrest is still good on it. Can I go sit in here a second? The dash pad's in fantastic shape. Our uh, painted pieces down in here are really nice. The steering wheel is nice. Yeah, the steering wheel is in great shape. I mean, it's got a crack right here in the on the base on the side. If you look, but from the front side, the steering wheel is in really nice shape. It's got 85,274 miles. I'm positive they're original. I don't have documentation, but judging by the interior and stuff of the car, I'm sure it is. Carpet, I don't know if that was replaced at the time of the repaint. It's possible. It definitely hasn't been done for a long time. Um, you can just tell it's got the fuzziness to it right on the sides. It's still nice and clean, but it does have a little fuzziness to it. Kick panels are okay in it. If we look in here, we do have the original owner's manual as well. Comes with it. I'm pretty sure this is the Mustang I have the original broadcast sheet with it. Here's the Sears tires um, that were put on it back in 94. One set of tires anyway. Bringing it back and making Original AM radio works, temperature gauge works, oil pressure gauge, amp gauge, fuel gauge, all work. Horn works, wipers work. Look how nice and clean this uh, shifter is. You can tell it's the original. It's got a little wear to it, but how clear the numbers and everything are. It's just a nice, clean car, guys. Now, I do have the trunk mat. I told the guys in the detail shop to take it out so you guys could see how nice the original paint was on the trunk floor. So I have the original trunk mat that comes with it. I also have brand new seat covers for the front and back and a seat back. The uh, driver's side one was redone. It looks great. But you can see the passenger side one has just a little, um, seems like a little tear right there. And then right down here at the base of it, way down here. You know, that's probably why the guy didn't change them, because the original ones still look good. Back seat, same way, it looks good. Back door panels all look good, that kind of thing. This carpet, guys, could be original. You can just see, I can zoom in on it, it's just got a little bit of a, you know, that loop has come apart a little bit on it. Still very usable, but shows its age. Door shuts good, windows line up nice. We do have some a uh, couple paint chips down here to bare metal. Right there above my fingers. Just a little paint imperfection around the A here too. Like I said, it's got a lot more than I'm mentioning, guys. I'm not gonna be able to see everything, but we did buff it out, and the paint has a good shine. Even like the trunk lid and stuff all shines really well. The this uh, quarter over here shines great on the driver's side. Driver's side's nice and straight. We have a little, kind of a little scratch or something right here. Lower quarter, no bubbles or blisters. That's all nice and clean as far as I can see here. Over the wheel well looks good. We have one little blister right here above my finger. Down here is all nice and solid. Lower door is in good shape. Lower fender's in great shape. Your body line here is nice. Roof rail rubber appears to be original, but still nice and pliable. Right here, we kind of buffed and 
The clear coat got a little messed up right in here. Right here too, the paint was chipped. It was touched up, it didn't match very well. So I just got a few spots like that that could be addressed right away. But there's no dings or dents anywhere in this front front fender. It's all solid. Door is excellent too. I mean, if you want to call it a blister, I don't know if it's a blister or a little speck of dirt, but it's got one here and a tiny one there. Mirror, original chrome and stuff on the mirror, still in good shape. It's not all heavily pitted. Same thing with the door handles. This car is just, you can just tell it's original mile car. It's nice and tight. Came from out west. I mean, very well taken care of. Body is 65A, color is I. Trim is 2G, date 27B, DSO is 42, axle 0, trans W. Corner's nice. Bottom of the door is good. Like I said, driver side seats reupholstered, correct color. It really matches up nicely even with the old upholstery. Still has our Mustang uh, tire pressure stuff, sticker. Quarters look original on it. Does have the retractable seat belts in the front as well. Um, I don't see any seat belts in the back, guys. As far as our plastic trim and stuff, it really looks nice here. Um, we got some tarnishing around the original gauges, but that that's original and it's not a an ugly piece at all. I mean, it can easily be replaced if you want to, but um, looks good for 85,000 miles. Heater fan works as well, guys. So every single thing on this car works, which I wish they all did. Here's a little chip I was telling you about, just a tiny little chip in the windshield, but it is over on the driver's side. Dome light works also, guys. This is the Mustang I drove the other day. That all, the blue one had a super nice uh, tight steering gearbox also, and this one does too, so the steering is really nice and tight on it. It's not sloppy like a lot of them. Turn signals do work on the left side on the hood and on the right side, so they both work in the deluxe hood. Again, we're going to price this at $15,995. It's a great driver condition Mustang, very solid car. Needs some cosmetic restoration as far as if you want it to be a show car, it will need to be repainted. But for a cruise night car, just the way it is, it's an awesome looking little Mustang. Shocks feel real good there. We didn't uh, bottom out at all. I mean, when I say the steering's tight, you're going down the road, you don't have to touch your steering wheel. I mean, there's just absolutely no play in that steering box at all. Disc brakes feel good. You got a pedal that's right up there. It does not have power brakes, just got the disc. Manual disc, and they're great. Speedometer works well, it doesn't bounce around at all. Here's your brakes, no hands on the wheel, no pull. Temperature gauge is just starting to come off the cold, so that's working as well. Transmission just kind of surged you right back in your seat when it shifted. Nice, nice firm shift. Same thing. When it shifts a third, I mean, you feel it. It's not a slosh, sloppy, sloshy shift at all. So it's got a really solid tranny. It's 70 mile an hour, just like that, guys. Um, 289 two barrel, but with the transmission shifting the way it should, running good, really gets down the road nicely. One of the straightest driving in old 67 Mustangs I've drove in a long time. So, very tight, we just passed the semi there. <laughs> the steering was not gonna go anywhere, it just goes straight down the road. Great Mustang if you're looking for something to, to drive while you cosmetically make it yours.